I'm sure we can all relate to, um, waking up to go to school or work is half the battle. Like me this morning, or like, you know, my alarm goes off at 5.30 and really just don't want to get up, but half the battle is really just getting up, getting ready, driving to school instead of actually being class when class really is not that bad, it's just getting there. Well, I experienced that even as like a little second grader. I don't know why, but that started for me very early. And a Chinese proverb said, teachers open the door, but you must enter by yourself. And ever since I was probably about like first, second grade, I was always in a combo class or in a class where with like the smarter kids of the grade, but I wasn't necessarily the smartest kid in the smarter class of the grade. So I kind of felt like a little behind and I just did not want to go to school. I was like, I was tired of just kind of feeling like I wasn't up to everyone else's standards, even though they were on the smarter scale, like one grade up of math, I was still, you know, the normal one. So I just stopped going and it's this, um, quote or proverb I've actually seen before in many like little classrooms and I was like you know what like if all my you know my friends are getting these awards for doing these separate math things like might as well get like perfect attendance and just go and not for college but from fourth grade to high school I've had perfect attendance which I know is kind of wild but it was something that I've always told myself like you need to you just need to go and once you get there it'll all be it'll all be good so I really do believe in this quote and I think it is very true because I think sometimes we need to like not take like our education for granted and realize that like you know we really should go, especially when it's there like in front of us and not I don't know, just not necessarily think too much about having to go. We should just be able to go because if the teachers open the door for us, it's our opportunity and our responsibility to get our education and yeah thank you Well, I like the shared experience that you have at the beginning to get our attention, and I think that you identify the topic pretty clearly. Uh, it needs to be a little bit uh, more distinct, the point that you're making. It sounds like you mostly agree with the point that's being discussed here. You talk about a classroom experience. You use that as the literal thing that you're going to discuss, and I thought that you did a pretty good job explaining you know, what your situation was and giving us a little bit of detail on that. That's the one experience that you've got. You don't have a plan after that and so once that runs out I think you got a little bit stuck for something to say and then you just pulled the plug on it as quickly as you could. Which is okay if you finish um, because you've said what you were going to say and you, can't re you don't really have something else to say. I don't think it helps you to stand up there and struggle but on the other hand, you do want to sound a, a, a lot more like you're in control, like you're making the decision to finish as opposed to the decision has been made for you. And that sort of is the way it comes across. This is another one of those, yeah, thank you kind of things. I'm done. Uh, so you kind of roll over on that. The um, vocal presentation, I think, is pretty solid. There's a lot of energy in your voice. You project really well. If I'm not paying attention, if I'm not looking at you, I think you're doing a solid job. However, you do have inconsistent eye contact. You have this tendency, I don't know if there's, if you're just looking at Aaron's fingers and counting how many minutes are left, or uh, Kylie smiled at you, but that seems to be like the area that you look at when you look at the audience. The rest of the time it's kind of up in the air and back down here, and up in the air and back down there, and you're not really engaging the audience when you're speaking to them, and I think you need to do that a little bit more. All right, merci.